hi guys so in today's video we're going to do circle geometry so we're going to do a revision if you are in grade 12 but it's going to be uh, a new thing if you're in grade 11 so i'm just going to teach in a grade 11 standard uh, so we're going to start with the proofs we're going to prove this one uh, the perpendicular bisector theorem and also this one the angle at the center so let's start with this one so suppose that you are given that o is the center of the circle and ab is a segment and this uh this line al is perpendicular to ab so what you are required to prove the rtp I'll ask you to prove that AL is equal to LB. So that's what you're going to be required to prove. So the first thing that you must do is construction. So our first step, we must do the construction part before you can do anything. So after doing the construction, you can move to a proof. Okay, so construction part. Here you must contract this, join this A, O, and join this B, O. So that's a part of, part of con uh, construction. Join A, O, and B, O. So that you can have the triangle A, O, L. This triangle A, O, L. And triangle b l o o you can say b o l b o l so you will have two triangles so remember that that we are told that this uh, it's perpendicular so what you are required to prove is that this triangle here is congruent to this one so the congruent means that if this triangle is congruent to this one that means this triangle can fit exactly on this one. So if these triangles are uh, on top of one another, they're going to be like this. This is a congruency. These can fit on top of these. So if two triangles are congruent, we mean like this, they can fit on top of one another. So that's going to be part one of proving. So you have to prove that these two triangles are congruent. So you are you must understand the terms in of circle geometry because uh, if you don't understand the terms you are going to be tricked. So let's start by terms first. So if you have something like this from a center to a point on a circle, we call these as a, a radius. This a radius. So if you have something like this from a point there and then passes at the center to a point here on a segment this is going to be a diameter so this is a diameter and if you have uh, something like this and then here this is point a this is b we call this point here we call this part here we call this part here segment a b so this part is called segment this is a segment part so by by understanding these things these terms they're going to help you in circle geometry because you're going to find the things like theorems where they say angles are suspended by the same segment then you don't understand what they're talking about okay so let me just delete this then continue with the proof okay so let's go to a proof so first point we said that we want to find the uh, that these two are congruent and if triangles are congruent they are only congruent if you have two sides that are equal and one angle that's common two sides that are equal and one angle that's common so you say that uh, uh, are congruent or if you have two angles that are similar and one side that's common congruent also or you have a side an angle and side so there are many uh, correlations that you uh, you can make. 
so but for this one here we're going to see which one applies okay so let's take a look at this uh this part we have a triangle here let me just draw it here we have a triangle here we have a triangle a o l and we have another one here we have another triangle here that's called l o b so let's see the first thing that's common here is o l so o l you can see o l is equal to o l you see so you give a reason because you must get five marks that are going to award you so this is a common site you say this is a common site and second thing that's common is this angle you see this angle here this if this is 90 and this angle here is 90 so you say that angle o uh angle o l a since you are not given you are not given that this is 90 and then you say that this is equal to 90 degrees you must give a reason so this is sum of angles on a straight line on a straight line on a straight line they add up to 180 so that's why you're saying it's 90 the reason is because uh the sum of angles here if he has 90 we know that he, here you can say it's x so x plus that 90 must be equal to 108 so when you find x you just say take this to the other side and then it's 18 minus 90 which is going to be 90 also see so the sum of angles on a straight line add up to 108 uh, okay so the one last thing we're left with one one thing for these two triangles to be congruent so let's take a look at ob ob is a radius right as i said it's a radius and oa is a radius and all radius uh all radii not radius is radii of a of a circle i equal so you're going to say ob is the same as oa the reason you are given here, you gi you will give us the both radii. So these are the radii. Okay, so after that, you can say therefore, because uh, that's a statement that you must you must you must take after. There, therefore, triangle A O L. This is congruent to triangle b o l and make sure you don't confuse this symbol with this one this means similar and that means congruent okay so and here remember that we were dealing in with triangle o l a o l and triangle b o l so after proving that if these two are equal we can conclude by saying therefore a l is equal to lb using what the reason of this is congruency congruency and remember the reason of this here is because you have a side side angle okay so let's prove this the second one so the second one uh, it says the the rtp sorry the rtp what do i require to prove we are required to prove, sorry, here was supposed to be something like this. We are required to prove that AOC is given by 2ABC. So, and this theorem states that, and this theorem states that the angle at the center is twice angle at the circumference. So, we have to prove that that really the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference and remember that i said that you must know the the terminology that we're using here that this is going to be a cord and this is going to be a b this is going to be a uh, arc so this is arc arc a c not a b sorry so this arc a c subtend this angle o and also that angle so this angle the reason we're saying this angle subsended by this ac is because it's produced like this uh, from ac so that angle is subtended by ac 
and also this angle here is produced by AC you see comes here and also comes there so it's subtended by AC also okay so let's get started let's prove it so it's an easy thing to do okay so we have to make a construction first thing in order to get remember that uh, prove is five marks so you must get all those marks by doing all the, the things that they want you to do so we must draw a line we must draw a line from B from B that passes through that passes that passes through O so we must draw a line from here so it doesn't end at O it just passes through so this line goes like this uh, let me try to draw it perfectly the line goes like this okay so here we have a line and after that this line you can see that it produced a, a triangle AOB and it also produced a triangle C O B. Okay, so now we're going to make our proofs in triangle A O B and tri triangle C O B. Remember that last for last one also we had two triangles. So this time we're not proving that this triangle is uh, congruent to this one or this triangle is similar to this one. No. Nope. We want to find this angle here. Let's call this angle O1 and this angle here O2. Uh, so this is going to just going to be A and this here is going to be, let's call this B1 and this B2. So we just want to find this angle here, this angle here in terms of a inside angle of triangle. And also we just want to find this angle here in terms of these angles that are inside. Okay, so we're going to approve now so we're going to say here we have this line OB which is equal to OA so OB OB is equal to OA so someone can give me a reason why I was saying that I told you in the last video uh, last, last, last proof so what's the reason for that is to a radii i a radii and then if it is the case remember that we said something about it uh, if this is equal to that in grade 9 they told you that this angle is going to be these angles the base angles of the isosceles triangle are equal so these are the base angles the base angle of isosceles triangle are equal so therefore this angle here is going to be equal to that angle there, right? So now let's show that. So we're saying that B1, angle B1, angle B1 is going to be equal to angle O. You see this one, O, O, A, B, O, A, B. The reason we're saying that base angles of isosceles triangle isosceles triangle a o b that's isosceles triangle we're talking about right so let's go to an, a next one so if this is the case then remember also we had this in grade in grade nine that the exterior angle is equal to the sum of opposite interior angles in a triangle. Alright, so here the exterior angle is equal to the sum of opposite interior angles. So what are opposite interior angles here? This one and this one. So this the exterior angle is equal to the sum of opposite interior angles. So if this is x, this is x, then this one here is going to be 2x. So we're going to use the same thing here, the same thing that you learned in grade 9. We're going to use it here now. Okay, so let's see. Here we have this angle here. So this angle here 
this is exterior angle it's going to be the sum of opposite interior angles which is this one and this one here. see so we are going to say o1 let me write it here but we are supposed to be there o1 angle o1 is going to be equal to since this is equal to this one plus this one and we said that these two are equal so you can just say you can just say it's equal to 2 b1 because even if you say it's equal to b1 plus o a b since these two are the same we can just uh, replace the other one by b1 okay so it's, it's equal to 2 b1 and the reason of this is exterior angle we say that exterior angle uh, is equal to the sum sorry exterior angle is equal to the sum of opposite interior angles in a triangle in a triangle which triangle a o b the triangle a o b all right so let's prove the last one uh, another thing we have to prove so now we're no longer giving a reason because all of these things if we can take them all of these things that are going to apply to this triangle also this triangle they are going to apply to this triangle so now just to save time we're going to say similarly simi Lali O2 O2 angle O2 is equal to 2B2 right so this one here also is equal to this plus that we don't have to show that now because we already know that this is equal to that and the bases are equal this base and this base are equal and then therefore this angle is given by the sum of the opposite interior angles okay so now let's go to the last step so what's o o1 o1 uh let me use another color so now let's say we have o1 we add it by o2 right because this gives us aoc and this is what we are required to find aoc so a o1 plus o2 is going to give us this o1 is 2b1 is 2 so open bracket b1 plus here you have this which is b2 b2 right so you can see here 2b1 plus b2 it's because this is given by b1 which is stand for o1 and this is given by b2 which is stand for o2 all right so what's o what's o1 plus o2 o1 plus o2 is a O C. This is going to be equal to two. What's B one and B two? B one and B two is A B C, right? C here, B one and B two. So we're done. You proved it. So you get your full marks for five marks. Okay. So it's easy to prove these things. So in our next video, please keep on subscribing so that you can get a notification when I post next time. In our next video, we're going to take a look at uh, another proofs. That you can be given the Tancot theorem and so on. Okay, thanks for watching.